So now let's actually talk about the things that I like about the bag. Now let's talk about my first impressions on the motor when I actually got it. So when I unboxed it, it was actually a beautiful unboxing. Like I've never seen such a beautifully like boxed motor. I've unboxed plenty of hub motors, but none of them come as close as the way as how nicely and premium it feels to unbox a CYC. When I actually got it and I held it in my hand, it felt very sturdy very high quality and very premium like it's like you know it's something that you don't see or get like every day you don't see a, a cyc every day Bruh. you will never most likely get to your hold one unless you really want to get one for yourself or see some other cre creators riding it but it's a beautiful motor i really love the motor so the unboxing is a 10 out of 10. Now for the availability of the motor, right? So you can easily get off the CYC store, except it's just kind of pricey. Because if I put up the price right now, it's a thousand pounds just for the motor alone, which is crazy because for one thousand pounds, you can basically buy a 3000 watt kit and a 72 volt battery and have a fully working e-bike. But for one thousand pounds, it's just the motor alone. Luckily, I was lucky enough to get a 40% discount off of the CYC. But apart from that, like a thousand pounds is crazy. But unless you want like premium rides and stuff like that, then I wouldn't really spend a thousand pounds. But it's very good. I love it. And I mean, if it ever breaks, I would definitely pay that one thousand for another CYC. Okay. And now for the actual shipping of the CYC. So I ordered it. I can't really remember the date when I ordered it, but it took, I would say, about two weeks for me to get it. And I was kind of a pain in the ass because I kept asking the workers, where's my CYC motor? Has it been shipped to the UK? You know, because it comes all the way from China. I mean, Hong Kong. But the motor came quickly in two weeks. And yeah, I unboxed it. I mean, off camera. But then I done it on camera as well, re-unboxing it. However, it was just the best experience I've had when unboxing a motor by itself. Uh, unboxing of the motor and shipping is quite fast. I'm happy with the result of how quickly that was because at the end of the day i got my motor but it's just the other little things that kept me from not being able to ride it which i'll talk in a bit like of what those problems are and as for the motor it's 72 volt 120 amps which is crazy if you think about it because most motors can only do max up to 80 amps unless you get a custom controller but 120 amps is insane especially in this little thing like it's the size of my palm so yeah, and I really love the glass display because you can see inside. I mean, it's nothing very technical that you could use, but it's cool, I guess, that you can see in the inside of it. The thing I'm going to talk about is what I actually like from the motor. It's actually very sleek. It blends in with the bike. You can't even tell that it's electric, which is the best thing ever, I'm telling you. Amazing. Literally, I'm going to do a little riding clip right now on me on mode 3, leaning over the bars. I want to give you a throttle. It just lifts me up like I'm nothing. So... The power of the motor is insane. I will also do a speed test in this video, acceleration test, torque test, all of that. So stay tuned. The first impressions of the power. I mean, when I first connected it, 52 volt battery, which was insane already, let alone 72 volt. So 72 volt is crazy enough. I love it. There's nothing else that needs to be upgraded, honestly, apart maybe from the range of the battery because the motor likes to suck up a lot of power because you mostly give throttle. You, you won't even pedal, even though it has built-in uh, pedal assist with custom sensor trust me you're going to stick with the throttle only but now let's talk about the actual problems that i had with the cyc so let me actually flip the bike around now let's talk about the problems that i've had with the cyc as soon as i got it right so this bike was originally a 12 speed drive chain by dior and a select and what happened is even with the 52 volt battery installed which is maybe 15 amps max is shredded through the cassette derailleur and chain i'll put up a picture right now of the derailleur it fully got bent and it's one of them 80 pound derailers as well it's crazy how expensive it is but how low quality it is because it got shredded quick in two days only of use and I wasn't intense using it, I was just testing it around because just I freshly built it. But the things that I upgraded on this bike and got is a Q's 10 speed cassette because it's made out of steel and it lasts three times longer than normal cassettes because it's reinforced as well. So yeah, it's also rated for electric bikes like this with all that power. Then I also got a KMC E10 uh, chain 
uh, thanks to Bike Shack, they installed it for me as well, removed some links that were needed to re be removed. But actually, funny story, I installed a KMC E10S chain, which is actually more premium, but that uh, failed on me straight away and I already complained to them and hopefully I get a refund. But yeah, I installed the E10 now, so no problems with that. And the most important part is the derailleur and the shifter. So for the derailleur, I installed the same thing, Q Shimano 10-speed derailleur, which is about £45. Oh yeah, and the cassette was about £20. I got it on um, a deal, a good deal, a discount deal. And then the chain, I got it for, well, Bike Shack charged me £40, but obviously you can buy it online for like £20, £25. So... Yeah, I mean, I was desperate in the use of a chain, so obviously I had to pay that little extra price. And we also got a 10-speed Q's shifter. And I got a 10-speed Q's shifter because it has to match the derailleur, so that way it has smooth shifting and no problems whatsoever because it's very compatible that way. Another thing I added is a Suron style throttle because the stock throttle that came on the CYC was kind of horrible, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I appreciate that they gave me discount on their stuff, but... The throttle was horrible. I'm, I would never suggest that throttle. It's the same throttles that you get on Bathangs as well. So, yeah, now I installed the Surin throttle and it's amazing. I have no problems. It's all nice. The issues I had with CYC throttle is that it only tightens from the end bar. And then I also got a pair of Magura MT5s because it had the Shimano MT200, which is horrible for the power and speed of this bike. So that set me back about £80 as well, just for the brake alone. But trust me, the brake is needed. Otherwise, if you crash, especially with the backpack that I have in my bag with the battery, you could basically die. It's a death trap. Now, speaking about the battery, I have a 72 volt, 30 AH, 120 amps. So this fully pushes the power of the motor, which means the little clips that you see is full power. Not really because I'm only using mode two and keep in mind there's three modes. Obviously you can change it from five modes to nine modes but I like it on three. So mode one for me is 30 amps which is 1500 watts and then mode two is 4000 watts 60 amps and then mode three is unlimited power so 6000 peak and then 120 amps which is crazy. Apart from that I don't really have any other problems literally it's just all about maintenance at this point which means i'm gonna have to get a new chain maybe like once every three months because this one could snap and then because the chain wears with the cassette at the same time then i'll probably have to replace the cassette and chain at the same time which is extra costs and then i was told from bike check that the inside of the motor the little sprocket they also tend to snap because of the wear and tear because nothing lasts forever so yeah that would definitely need to be replaced like once every hopefully five months because i'm i don't really ride this a lot and i don't plan on doing that so yeah now as for the actual bike itself is a canyon ao6 if i'm not mistaken and a lot of people are gonna say it's stolen because i only got it for 500 pound right but hear me out the guy i bought the bike off of he doesn't even really care that much about this bike obviously there's a history behind the bike so he's gonna have that in his head but it's not like he knows he's going in good hands and i know him as well so that way he knows he can still see the bike which is good because if i was to ever sell my bike obviously i would want to know what's happening anyway enough of the yapping let's get on with the bike and actually show you how it performs so i'm gonna do five things right five things speed test no acceleration test speed test torque test wheelie test and just normal casual riding so you can see what it's like and also i'll be talking about the temperatures how it feels how it works and yeah you will see anyway guys look at the torque of the cyc that is 72 volt 120 amps five kilowatt so right now let's actually do a torque test on the motor and it's on mode two on the highest gear so let's see how torque it is. Also, I've already done like 126 miles on the bike, so my brake pads are kind of finished, which means if I fall back and loop out, I might die and it might get on video, you know? Anyway, let's try mode two. So I'm gonna give it a bit of throttle and now a quick burst of throttle. I'm gonna try mode three, which is even more torque here, like 120 amps, right? Look. 
Look, that is mad. But yeah, this thing is crazy. Like, let me do, I'm gonna lean over the bars on mode three and just watch how it picks up. Let's do a quick little acceleration test. So I'm gonna lean over the bars because I don't want to flip and then Yeah, nah, that's faster than a Soren, 100%. But this thing is talky. Like, I'll even put it on a lower gear. So shift down. I'm gonna keep it at that. I'm not gonna, and I'm not gonna go any lower than that because I don't wanna put stress on the motor, chain, derailleur, cassette, none of that. So, so that's all it's gonna stay at. So let's see the torque on that. I might as well do a full speed flyby. So let's see how that looks. And I'm just gonna do a little quick flyby. Obviously I don't have enough room, but we'll see how it goes. So pedal in, throttle. Man, too crazy. I need to take it on the road for you guys to see the top speed because it can reach about 80 miles an hour if I'm not mistaken. The max I've hit is 52 so far. All right, so now we're going to do a full speed test. So I managed to get to my bottom gear, which is the highest gear. And uh, yeah, let's see the top speed. I'm also on, I don't know if you can see, but I'm on 77 volts, which means I'm not full power, but it's all right. And yeah, I'm joined by two Tolarias, the Sting R and the XXX, and let's see which one wins on the race. So yeah. All right guys, so we're gonna do a speed test right now. So let's see how it goes. That was an easy smoke. I ain't even gonna lie to you. 